All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Hmm, sounds like a situation that calls for a fist bump. Unless she wants my knuckles, too. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. You'd better. For your sake. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so, I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like, get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. Hit me up if you got questions. To see a face. So, when did you stop flying the Swan anyway? When the cargo became more valuable than the Everyone's ship. Everyone's welcome. So True. We the fleet's got us real busy these days, and we are making good money smuggling all this contraband. But if any time was the right time for a break. Hey, there's still work to do. I dig it, your neighbor's new recruit. Careful, 
The walls have ears. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Good. Then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. We'll talk more on the ship. All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. And if it is, we'll just blame Delgado. You know what they say, it all starts at the top. Ha! <laughs> I doubt he'll see it that way, but I'll keep that in mind. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew Let's get out there off. and do something new Routing today, power to shall we? Grab drive of course. Control. The reality of exploration is the balancing of supplies. SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare, just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that.
entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Yes. Got my attention, Captain. You got it. You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear. Hey. This is Captain Juan Dayu. And you found the intercom. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. If you can find a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. I'm not worried. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anyway, the door will let you access the vents. Go up the vents and to the barracks. You should find a uniform there. The uniform should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. Have you seen Elijah? Probably downstairs searching for his maintenance kit. Commander Natara runs the ship. And we respect the chain of command. Oh! Well, this is embarrassing. I, I seem to have lost my key to the maintenance room again. I've covered pretty much every inch of this place, except for the forklift. But that one guard, the, the one I owe credits to, is parked right there, so... I'd rather not go there. Something I can help you with? Elijah? Probably lost the hair on the back of his head. I'll go see what it's about.
I've heard the technology in the station would make the FC surrender before we even started. That's why 920 Marines are hand-picked. To maintain op security, most of us here won't work in another site. Things have gotten real tight since Commander Natara took over from Man Woods. State your business. Logging Ensign level clearance. Go on ahead. Your friend there have the same clearance? Mm-hmm. We're together. Then you're both good to go.
is Captain Juan Dayu. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comps. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. They'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. This far down, you might need a clearance code. We are of the same mind. No talking, no combat, and no trace. This station has a lot of old arteries. The blood has gone dry, but they still connect to its heart. Look for a maintenance area that should open a path to the archival computers. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. If you aren't assigned to this level, Anson, you need to leave. Oh, I better not be getting sick. Just... Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. You're clear, Ensign Akasaka. I assume the two of you are together? Of course. I go where they go. Then you're both clear. You lost, Ensign? Stop right there, Ensign.
for the tests for the comms by going. Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. It's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation. big project you're working on. Well, I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Really? Couldn't you just trust me? Nope. Right out the airlock you'd go. But I'd try my best not to enjoy it. Can you talk to the commander? Get me reinstated? The tower is doing you a favor, Marcin. Do you prefer to court-martial? Dishonorable discharge? Because all of that was on the table. I would have preferred things to remain as they were, so I made a mistake. But my work on the cum spike was and is irrelevant. Dr. Vogel will do just fine without you. Besides, we both know the only reason you were on that project was to bloat the budget so we could embezzle the creds. And to that end, your share of the funds should be transferred to your gal bank account shortly. What am I supposed to even say to that? Those funds are the reason I don't have a job. You can start by saying thank you. Hell, I even warned you not to poke the bear. Uh, Commander Natara being the first-time predator in this analogy. <sighs> Aaron was right. I should have never hit send. <laughs> yeah. You screwed up, royally. But, you can protect Dr. Gong and all the King's subjects by keeping your mouth shut from now on. Yeah. Hey, you want my advice? On some planet at the edge of the galaxy where you can relax for a bit, lean back, <laughs> really dig your feet in the sand. Just get your mind off all this. No, oh, it's stop with the sad puppy dog face, too. <laughs> Makes you look guilty. And what kind of face am I supposed to have? The face of someone who got away with it.
intercepting transponder data in the Harvard system might be promising. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of uh, two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. What she doesn't know won't kill her. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? The calm spike. But I can't just hand it to you. It's a module for a ship. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing. Outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind unafraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Really? And then maybe all of my pestering has finally paid off. You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready in time. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new task pilot. You're already in uniform, so that means you just need a password. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Reporting for duty, pilot? Access granted. Be sure to head to the control center and schedule the flight. And good luck.
Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. That's a real nice ship you brought in. I can't wait to tinker with it. Yeah. Survive? I need something big. Well, only the best protective gear you could. like I have anything better to do. We're done here. Great. I hope you can don't even try to. Hey. <laughs> Don't miss me too much. I hope you've brought me... I'm sure we can. Your credits are always good at the Trade Authority. I've got... You don't make it in this life. Plenty of mer... Done here? Fine by me. I like 
like my weapons like I like my coffee. I hope Bug has something strong enough to knock me down. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. It looks like everyone's starting to buy in. Well, stealing. Pirates don't actually buy anything. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink, and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Certainly. Let's talk about something Every else. Captain here is under stress. How did the Crimson Scar become the Crimson Fleet? After I busted out of the I had the key, a few UC ships, and a couple dozen ex-cons at my side. But I needed more, so I sent out the call. Once word got around, it didn't take long for freelance pirates from every corner of the settled systems to show up. And this is how the Crimson Fleet was born. Exactly. The key became our base of opera. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Yeah, yeah, nice try, Rook. We know you didn't have a choice. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. You damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that, Ben. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Technically, we already answered to you, but point taken. And if you fail me here, you will not like the answers I give. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Crix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Smuggling beats a real joke.
job any day. Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. Excuse me. I've heard Archangel flew in some top secret program not too long ago. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a SysDev operative. I'm glad somebody noticed around here. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer. Like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. It's long overdue. All right. I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. It's good to have you back. What can I do for you? Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. Finally. We've been tracking the Jade Swan for almost a year, but Captain Dayu somehow remained one step ahead. Every time we've scanned that ship, it's come up empty. Well, she's not going to skate away this time. Nice work. Any other fragments? Cost overruns, siphoning project funds? How deep does this well go? Our forensic accounting team is going to have their hands full. I'll send this to Mass right away. Let's just hope that a few rotten apples within the UC haven't spoiled the entire bunch. That it? 
Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. We'll be here if you need us. Do you have anything to report? <laughs>